Welcome to this special E3 edition of Pulse, presented by the PlayStation Network. Christina Lee here from the Upper Deck VIP section of the PlayStation booth, big as ever, and we're here to run through the day one activities taking place around this 15,000 square foot exhibit hall. It's been a pretty busy day as you can imagine after last night's press conference and party, in which I heard many crazy party stories. And for those of you who missed our live coverage, of course, here's a quick look back. Our next generation portable is officially named PlayStation Vita. The Wi-Fi only model will retail for $249. PlayStation Vita で持ってきました We work with PlayStation and Subway restaurants to set up a one-of-a-kind opportunity. During the month of October, Uncharted fans across the US can head to their local Subway to get an early access to the complete competitive multiplayer experience. Now that's realistic. The bundle available on September 6 will include Resistance 3, the Sharpshooter, a PlayStation Move motion controller, a navigation controller, and a PlayStation Eye camera, all for $150. This fall, we'll be offering a great opportunity for current 3D TV owners to add an affordable pair of active 3D glasses that will work with a variety of 3D TVs and displays. demos are on the floor and we notice folks are spending a lot of time working their way around the booth to try as many as possible. But the hottest ticket or the longest line is the one for Vita. While the industry has known about the hardware specs for months, this is really the first time folks are actually experiencing the possibilities with software like Blaze Blue right here. So here's a look at what you'll be getting your hands on really soon. Alright, so one of the big highlights from Monday night's press conference was seeing the new Uncharted game for Vita, Uncharted Golden Abyss. The game is just adding to the anticipation of Uncharted 3, and earlier the PlayStation blog team caught up with the cast. So, so tell us about Drake in this game, and, and where he's at, and what, what uh, are you being challenged more, you know, as an actor in, in this third game? Oh, every day that I step on a stage I'm challenged because I'm not very good. 
Uh, I can testify to that. Yes. yes. Uh, I I really should probably be you know back at a restaurant or some kind of a or back freight in prison or back in prison because uh, like Richard McGonagall, I've been in a lot of people's homes stealing various things, <laughs> silver, gold. If it was one of your homes, I apologize. It's method acting. It's all been pawned. <laughs> We've all lost our minds uh, a little bit. Uh, it's it's been a crazy process, and and in all seriousness, we always get. You know the press, and we get to talk to to you, and uh, you got to give a, a real big shout out to everybody over at that office. They are working literally round the clock sometimes yeah, to amazing. put this together, and they just keep coming up with all the great stuff for us to do. And it's um, they deserve all the credit. Yeah, they do. Recently, we we did a, a mocap event where we saw that you guys are not sitting in a booth, you know, with a cup of coffee, yeah. doing your lines. You guys are active and running around. Yeah. Talk about, uh, you know. People might not know at home that you know that's you holding a gun or, or balancing yeah. or whatever it is that you're doing. What what was like maybe one of the more difficult physical things you all had to do in Uncharted 3D that, that we can reveal without any plot spoilers? A lot more jumping for Sullivan. Sullivan doesn't like jumping off of things. <laughs> no, no. And, and Sullivan has a bum knee. <laughs> he has a bum knee. There's, there's he doesn't two like bum to jump. knees. Thanks very much for taking time out. We definitely look forward to it's seeing what true. your characters do in Uncharted 3. I know everyone else there does. Thanks for taking time to answer fan questions, and they love you, so just bow to your adoring public. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thank See you in November. Yeah. So while the exhibit halls are packed, I mean, check this out behind me, this is still an industry affair and not open to the general public. Sad times, I know. So the thousands of folks don't have the opportunity to attend in person, but in PlayStation Home for the second year, the virtual booth is back. Good news for you guys. So here's a look from the inside. Can't make it in the front door at E3 this year? Buck up, champ. This year, you won't have to. New for 2011, the virtual E3 booth returns to PlayStation Home. Preview the latest games, earn virtual item rewards, access to upcoming games, get an exclusive look at the new PlayStation Vita system. You can be an E3 VIP right from your living room. And for the first time ever in PlayStation Home, watch streaming live footage from this year's E3. You may not be able to make it to E3 this year. Yeah, lucky for you, buddy boy, you won't have to. The 2011 PlayStation E3 booth, available now for a limited time, only in PlayStation Home. All right, so we're sitting around with Jack Buser, director of PlayStation Home. Jack, that's a pretty sweet spot. Thanks so much. We're having so much fun here at E3. It's awesome. Dude, so we're sitting around here in this amazing booth, and you were just telling me, you know when the changes happen, because you're the guy that built this site from the inside out. Yeah. So what are some of the little changes that you noticed this year? Oh, I notice every nook and cranny, because we <laughs> actually build the virtual booth inside of PlayStation Home. I am an absolute expert on what changes year to year. For me personally, one of the big things here this year is actually checking out the PlayStation Vita. Okay. You know, in the virtual booth, you can actually get a full 3D representation of the PlayStation Vita, so you can get that, up close and personal with it. It is such an insane. amazing device. Yeah. That's insane. I cannot wait to get one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude, so what's the reception been like? The people coming in now, what's the traffic like? Oh, the traffic's been through the roof. We've actually been experiencing record traffic in PlayStation Ooh. Home. So for everybody out there watching this at home, Hello. what's up? Hey, how you doing? Thanks Shout for coming on Shout out from Jack in. and I. That's right. You know, <laughs> having the virtual E3 booth inside of home, enables anybody with a PlayStation 3 to come in and join us virtually here at E3. Just to, just imagine that. Your PlayStation 3 actually allows you to come to E3 from the comfort of your couch. It's just amazing stuff. It's like a spaceship. I know, right? The places. I know. <laughs> Only on PS3. Only on the <laughs> PS3. That's right. But what's some of, the things, some of the things that you can do in the virtual booth that you can't do here? Well, number one is you can come to E3 from your couch. Okay. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, but also, checking out all the games, you know, you really have VIP access to check out everything, to really get up close and personal with the titles, to check out the new hardware, to, and be with other fans of PlayStation. I mean, it's just amazing to be there in the virtual booth and see all of the amazing PlayStation community there, just totally hanging out and having a great time. True, and you can do it from the kicks of your home. You don't have to wear a jacket or a skirt like exactly. Jack and I. You can do it in your PJs. Exactly, exactly. 
And um, lastly, I just have to tell you, it's, it's still tripping me out that we're sitting here physically, and yet we're also being watched live in PlayStation Home, but we're still here, and so I'm just saying, where are we? Oh, yeah. it'll do your head in. In fact, think about this. We're actually showing the virtual booth here in the real booth. Yes. And so I'm waiting for some sort of like weird meta time warp or something to open up, turn us all inside open? out. Yeah, the totally. Open <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much, Jack. Oh, thanks for having me. All right, and the PlayStation Home virtual booth is definitely worth checking out. And back here on the show floor lots, of course, folks are checking out another big PlayStation title, Ratchet & Clank All for One. And my new best buddy, Ray Ray, Ray Gutierrez of the PlayStation Vlog, spent some quality time with Chad Desern from Insomniac Games. What are you going to show us today? Uh, today we're looking at Ratchet & Clank All for One. Okay. And this is the first uh, fully cooperative Ratchet & Clank adventure. You can play with any number of players, one through four as Ratchet, Clank, Quark, and Dr. Nefarious. Right on. And you know, this is a kind of a mismatched group. Dr. Nefarious is pure evil, Quark's a bumbling idiot, but that really kind of mirrors the way we play the game. You right know, the game, the game has I'm, a... I'm, I'm the idiot. I'm, I'm the, you're, you can be the bumbling idiot, I will be the Dr. Nefarious. Very, very good, that's perfect. <laughs> that suits me well, actually. How does it feel to see this concept go from the whiteboard to the screen live? On the places blog, it's 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 incredibly exciting for us because okay. you know we we started out um, just with this kernel of an idea. We wanted to make a cooperative game where you can play Ratchet and Clank together, and that kind of evolved into this uh, cinematic co-op experience. Right you on. know, not only do do we want you to play through and have a great time with your friends, we we also want you to play against this dramatic backdrop where where big events and story elements and like calls to previous games are playing out all around you. So that's, right that's what we've got here to show, and we're, we're excited to get it out there. Right on. Go big or go home, right? Absolutely. So now this game is in 3D as well. Talk about the challenges of making about 3D gaming. You know, there's four characters on screen. You know, there's going to be some challenges there. Talk about that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, for us with 3D, you know, we tried it uh, as a prototype just to see how it would look. Right. And, and I remember the day when we all stood around the TV with our, our 3D glasses on, and we thought, we, we have got to do this. It would be criminal not to release the right. game in 3D. And a lot of that is because the camera style really works well with 3D. Right. We have a director's cam. Right. right. So, you know, we're able to really control the, the parallax, like what you're seeing in the foreground, the middle ground, and the background. Right on. And the game just really lends itself well to the technology. It's just a great fit all right around. On. All right, so any last comments before we let you go off into the E3 show floor? Yeah, you know, I'll just say that the whole team is stoked about getting this out to the world. We just can't wait to get it uh, cool. to players so they can right. play through. It's for one to four players out on, out on Blu-ray October 18th. And uh, you know, it's all about like experience, uh, uh, experiencing this this new planet and new places in the Ratchet universe together with friends. Amazing. All right, and we're joined here by Jeff Rubenstein. Jeff, what's up? Hey, just uh, day one. It's in the books. So. I know it's crazy, <laughs> dude. So 24 hours ago, we were sitting up atop our perch, immersed in just a visual buffet, and now we're Very sitting well here 24 put. hours later. It's been crazy. Yeah, it's been it has been nuts. Just like you said, we uh, we were there 24 hours ago. The announcements happened. We did our, our post game show. Then we went downstairs and, and we started talking to everybody. The media there. What did you think? What did you think about the games? What did you think about Vita? What do you think about 249 dollars for Vita? Pretty universally a, a good response. Then got back to the hotel. We are pretty much all night looking at Twitter, looking at the blog comments. We really want to know what you all think. We've been working on this show for months and months and months. It takes a, a, literally a cast of thousands to get it all together and to, to make these games and get everything polished and ready. A lot of sleepless nights and uh, I think it went pretty well. And I think people were definitely celebrating. I heard one too many like, you know, dropping into the pool parties and the after parties were absolutely crazy. A little too much to drink perhaps, but a lot of it's people going, I love you, man. This guy is awesome. Romance is everywhere. But yeah. Hey, so um what I mean it's it's so crazy down there on the floor. Like you were saying, there's just long lines, but where do we even start? We start at the back of the line, because like you said, the lines have been really long. Which is a good thing. You don't right. want to have to wait in a long line. But the developers, I can tell you what, they're up here, they're looking down, and they want to see a long line because that means they built some buzz last night. So yeah. lines for Vita, huge. Lines for Uncharted 3, huge. Also Starhawk, Twisted Metal. People are getting in there, and they're getting in multiplayer action, and, yeah. and they're enjoying it. And really, not everybody who wants to be able to play today is going to have a chance. Of course, they have two more days. Two more days to go. And guys, just to give you guys a preview of what's coming up tomorrow, Jeff and his team will be streaming live, probably starting somewhere early early morning. Yeah, yeah, we started uh, today at noon and we were doing that throughout the day. Tomorrow, things start a little bit earlier. Okay. Uh, the show floor opens at 10. We'll get started a little bit before that. Cool, and you guys can watch out for me again for Pulse for our end of the day highlight show. Um, probably streaming around the same time, I'm sorry, not streaming, but on at the same time around six o'clock. 
And um, yeah, it's Jeff's birthday, you guys. I just want to wish him a happy birthday. Shout out to him on Twitter, at Jeff Rubenstein. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. This has been a presentation of the PlayStation Network.